Hi there, and welcome back to the joy of crafting in Conan Exiles. I've decided to go ahead and build a couple of these new tables, these alchemy related tables. They're new to a recent game update. We've got a Dyer's Bench. I was messing around with dyes in the last video. I was not getting... I just realized the Alchemist Bench and then there's improved, so... Just a better version of the same thing on that one. But I want to try getting a bit of a lighter red enhancing the uh, color on my followers. Cool. That's the regular red dye gives you that and it's quite dark, quite dingy. Really coming out almost purple. Maroon maybe. Oh goodness, that's very big. I didn't think that was going to be so big. No, 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 no. Hmm. Well, that throws me into a bit of disarray. Did not think of... What? Complete and improved works? Okay, that was a journey step. Complete and improved workstation. Um, I didn't think it was going to be so big. I've kind of got all my wall space taken up. You know what? We do have other floors in this place. So this is the slave room down here. Oopsie. Wrong button. I'm sure the old slaves won't mind a bit of stinky, stinky chemical stuff going on. Now this is going to have all of our tattoos. Blood red dye. Island berries. Blood red. Interesting. We've got different dye colors now. Oh my. Deep sea green. Light red dye. So I'm thinking the blood red is just rusted red. I'm, there's lots of different variations now. Because it's made with the same stuff. Yeah, there's red dye. Okay, um... I don't know which I don't know if I have any berries either um waterfall glass flask but they both take berries interesting yeah I should have berries in the fridge all right so we need some water Water flasks, berries. All right, I had that other table too that got made. He's 
got a skull on. Skull and scrolls in your little vials you would expect. Okay, so okay, so here's where I make corrupted stone. I guess maybe I need to get another alchemist. Unless I want to move them back and forth. I could just move them for alchemists back and forth when I'm taking my items back and forth, really, I guess. Okay, so there's not as much stuff crammed into one table anymore. Alright. Water I need water filled glass flask. Island berries. Do I get the... Excuse me. I'm trying to tell you to move. You're not moving. Why are you not following my orders? Do I still make glass flasks over here. Uh, no. Hmm. Do I just have to take the glass flasks to the water myself? I'm pretty sure you used to be able to make them in the pot. Those are water orbs, not water filled glass flasks. Do I have any empty? I should. Blue dye. Oh, that's some air blue. I've only got one empty glass flask. In addition to the ones I'm already carrying. Okay, well. In that case, I might have to make the. Uh, I have to make the smelting table too. Um, I'm getting a little overwhelmed right now in my mind, but that's all right. We'll take it apart bit by bit. Nope. Get down here by the old fish traps. I think, according to what I read, anyway, you need bait. Yep. You need bait now for fish traps. They're not catching anything on their own. So, you need insects now if you ever want to catch any fishes. I don't think ever you need... I don't think you ever need a glass flask for anything other than making dyes. So we'll go ahead and use them all up to get water, and then we'll go back up here. No real idea where my follower is at the moment, but... Right, berries are in the fridge. Yep, there we go. Those are desert. Those are highland. Those are oh good. I've got two stacks of highland. Oh, I can't split it because it's seven will be plenty. It almost uses up all my glass flasks. Wait, I need to get the um, light dye colorant, maybe? We'll see. We'll see once we try out the other dyes, how they affect and different dyes show differently on different materials, so it's kind of hard to know ahead of time. Don't really know ahead of time until you get in there and get your elbow grease dirty in it, or whatever the expression would be. Let's try. 
try making a blood red and a coagulated red. Wait, I think I need red dye, which is made out of that. If I want to make light red dye. Pink dead. Rusted red is... I like to make rusted red, too. There's so many different... So many different shades of red. But I think I might end up needing the light red, maybe? Maybe not. Give this a shot. Can I dye this while you're wearing it? No. It doesn't show the menu while you're wearing it. Alright. Let's see what we can do here. So the rusted looks very pale. Coagulate looks pretty good. Oh my goodness. Well, the blood red dye. The blood red dye really gives it some vibrancy. But I might want to save that for the belt, maybe. Looks like the belt's sort of sharing with the metal. I don't want to turn the metal red. That that only affects the belt. There's not really much of a balance there. It either goes super bright or. Controls are messing me up now. Alright. I think I do want to make the belt that bright red color though. Maybe leave the base, maybe leave the skirt the way it is. Definitely more blood red. Definitely more blood red is what we want. That really gives you some vibrance. He took a second for the berries to show up, and I thought, I thought, my goodness, did they already rot that quick? So I'm, I'm glad the game's got these new, sharper dyes that give you more vibrancy. Just see if we did. Whoops. If we did the skirt and the belt that same color, they yeah they'd blend right into each other. So we are, okay. We're done with that. Done with the skirt, the glove. Which bit? Not that bit. Please go to the original color button. No, not you. Goodness gracious. 
I don't, I don't know why the controls on the dying menu are so stubbornly difficult. It doesn't really show very much, but we'll go ahead and do it. That just does the little straps on the inside of the guard. Boots I'm probably going to leave black. I don't know. If I can get him that red, maybe I'll go with that. Now here's where I had a problem last time. I couldn't get the straps the color I wanted. Oh, that's not the straps. Mm. Come on, would you... You know, you would think when you're on the menu hitting up and down, it would go up and down rather than sideways, but whoever designed this menu had some problems mentally, I think. Now this still won't go all that bright. How do I just... I can't... See, I can't go down the original color. Uh, I don't want to... I want it to go back to what it just was. I want to go back to what it just was. Without canceling all the way out. So which one are the... That's, okay, it's got to be the one in the middle. Goodness. Yes, okay. There we go. Beautiful, I love it. Just going to have some red highlights now. Fantastic. I'm very happy with this. Okay, I think we're all set now. Oh, weird, I can do it from my menu even though... Okay, I don't actually have to put it on, I can just hit equip from my menu and she'll equip it. That looks fantastic. That's what I wanted. We're there now, we made it. We got where we wanted to be. Everything's great. We're happy now. It's too dark to really see it that well, but... Alright, what do I got in my inventory? Just some dyes, mostly. Mostly some dyes. Stuff I need to fix my tools along the way. Bricks. We got bricks and reinforcements, dyes. Bricks, reinforcements, dyes, and then let's get back to capturing dudes. So bricks and reinforcements are going to go in this middle chest here. Dyes going one of these over here. I think it's the third one. We'll see in a second. It is. And then our weight's down to 65%, which should be adequate for our purposes. I'm going to put some of these extra junk arrows away. I don't need to have so many different slots full of arrows. I've only got one bow, after all. Fantastic. You can. You can in the real... Couldn't see it so much in the menu, but in the real world, you can see the straps on our gloves are red now. I like that. All right. I've got a suit of my own where they're kind of a pinkish purple. Magenta, I believe, is what the game called it. This is the most vibrant dye I think that was available back then, I believe, is why I used that one. Shit. I'm sorry, excuse my language, I just put my arrows in the wrong... That's not the arrow bucket, this is the arrow bucket. We'll keep the razor arrows to use. Dragon bone, just in case, just in case we run across a boss somehow. Explosive, just in case we crack some meteors. Yeah. Now, let's get back. Let's get back to where we were going to 
do some capturing. Before that, though, before we teleport, let's give you a deadly weapon and set you to attack everybody so you don't get killed. Sound good? Sounds good to me. sure I don't have God mode on we ran into a bit of trouble in the last video had to turn on God mode okay so here's our map room and again it is not lighting up seems like this one never lights up anymore I think this button's the one I want, though. <laughs> Heading back out to the desert, back to hold Supper Meru. Oh, I just spent 20 minutes, just spent 20 minutes dying my followers' set of armor, pretty much. But we're not looking for max efficiency here, we're just... Just having a relaxing, relaxing time, a relaxing time. No hurry. We've been playing this game for hundreds and hundreds of hours already. Now the last time I came here, yep, there they are. The line of skellies are all worshipping. Far, far away from that special building up there. Oh, while I'm here, I might as well... Might as well do a bit of mining. Yeah, it definitely gives you more... Definitely gives you more items per swing than it did before the update. But I don't know if it's increased casting costs. Crafting costs, I should say. To compensate for that, or if it's just easier now. We're going to need bugs by free. Oh yeah, the fish traps. Eh. I don't know if I'm going to mess with the fish traps anytime soon. Bugs go bad quick, so we'll probably just... Probably just let that go for now. I don't have my bow equipped. I don't need to be keeping human meat equipped. I'll replace that with ambrosia in case we get in an emergency and need some healing. Try the old headshot here. Aim is very jittery. Yep, that did it. All right, hides, horns, and savory flesh. Now, if we put you on guard, me, will you actually do it, or will you ignore the enemies like you were before? Is this two nodes? Yep. That was count as two nodes. Don't see any thralls yet that are level four. They're very rare. You are... I don't know if priests... See, I can't tell what his thing is until after I capture him. I'm not going to waste my time with that. Can't tell what his special attribute is. 
before capturing them. So why would I bother? I might already have somebody with the same thing. I guess I wouldn't bother, would I? So I won't. That's how that's gonna go. Alright, what do we got over here? I feel weak with hunger, do I? Alright. That pork face is still gonna last a long time. What do we got? Where's my fish? Oh, got that one right before it expired. Alright, now let's go see what happens. Let's see what happens when I get attacked and she's on defend me. My guess is she won't. My guess is she's just going to watch him attacking me. Well, that is, I can, I can put her on attack mode. Maybe I should do that. Which is to say I can have her uh, manually attack. That's what I was trying to get at there. Let's see what happens when he just attacks me. Okay, she is. Why did you not equip your weapon? There you go. I wonder what the blue meter is on her. Is that her stun meter? She doesn't seem to be getting stunned. I don't think it's experience. Oh, sorry, I got that kill on you there. Yeah, because experience is almost all the way up, so it's, I don't know what that blue meter she had was. Oh, take all of that. All right, now it's time for the old inventory shuffle. Give her a non-lethal weapon in case we want to capture these guys in the next one. Fighters this time, okay. I was about to say, are they all these archers up here? Oh, it's really dark when you put your torch away in this room. I didn't think it was going to be that dark. Okay, we need to knock her up because she's got bombs. Sorry, Delencia, but you got in the way. He's got the jitters. Alright, where's my knife? Where's my soul sucking knife? Get a sliver off of him, and I gotta get my rope out too. Gotta get your rope out to capture. I've got chain bindings, but let's use up the leather. Since they're not as good, we'll just use them up. Frame rate chug there scared me. Thought the game was crashing. Now let's see if the rope 
renders this time. It used to, before the update. When you came out this door, the rope would render. Even though you couldn't see the uh, body of the unconscious person, the rope would sort of render off into the distance, into the ground. But when I tried it earlier after the update, yeah, you can't see the rope coming off my hand at all. So you can't really tell I'm dragging anybody. Unless you just know that I am. Unless you just know. But, that's all fine. As long as you do know, you'll get there. So there we go. Now these people are all still training. Oh, these look like these are all done. Alright, so we've got another top level. See, I don't know what those I don't know what those symbols mean though. Okay. Chieftain Rada. Mm. It doesn't say what the symbol means, so I can't get more info. Is it a top level person at this one? Probably. Oh no, there's no. Oh! There's nobody in this one yet, so we'll put her in this one. Oh, that. Yeah, that made two people automatically finish all the way. But it doesn't say what what the different symbols mean, so I don't know. She's got a different one than the other person had, and that's fine. Okay, so there's two people training in there now. I think you used to be able to roll when you were over encumbered, but it cost a ton of stamina. Now you can't. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure you used to be able to roll encumbered. I'll just store my store my people in this little box. That's a bit strange, but you do what you got to do in the exiled lands. I put people in a box and put people in a box. These are all done. I think all three of my people have different skills, but I don't... Again, I don't know what they are. I don't see any way to figure it out. Other than go look up what each symbol stands for. Yeah. I've got muscle memory telling me to roll when I were encumbered, so... I'm sure you used to be able to. Even though I haven't played in a long time, I definitely remember that. Because my thumb is just automatically trying to do it whenever I'm walking slow. Okay. Well, we've got that box half full. Once it's all the way full, then we can go get our bearer to come and we start distributing guys around. Wait, are you... Yeah, you're still on guard me, so... Apparently guard me does work better now than it used to. Did I go with the wrong door yet? No, there's the bar. Okay. I think the only people that I would see outside are both female that I would want to capture. I think. Lisa the Longbow, and I forget the other one's name, but it's two female archers that are outside. They're not as good as the Treasure Hunter Seekers, but but they are 
easier to get because they're outdoors. You don't have to go through a load. Whoops, sorry. I do need to switch our weapon back out though. She's going to need a lethal weapon to handle this. Alright, where are you there? You just go kill him for me. Do combos? Do combos, please. <laughs> I didn't feel like he hit me, but apparently he hit me. It just does a crazy amount of damage. I don't know why he does so much damage. Go ahead and eat some ambrosia, we got plenty. Okay, now I'll switch your weapon back out. Tedious it is, but we've got a mission to accomplish. Alright, we got two ladies it looks like this time. Oh, what what just happened? Did I just do a lunging attack? Is that new? Hold on. Hmm. I'm running full speed. Fucking. Give me a second to get some space up. If I could get up to full speed. That's a lunging attack. That's not. Oh shoot, I just broke my glow stick on the lady's face. That's fine, I had plenty. Oh, don't. switch to a bow. Okay, so you can run and it doesn't seem to be very consistent though. But you've got sprint attacks now. Okay, are you unconscious? You look unconscious. Okay, now, about the torch. Actually, let's just keep two in case we need something underwater. I don't know if the Red Mother's works underwater or not, because it is a flame technically. I really take a lot of damage in this armor. Now, could you not stand on our head so I can see? Well, let's try getting this one first. And I don't think the other one will still be there when we come back, but if she is, then we can capture that one too. But it seems like unconscious people I don't think stay. I think only bodies that are dead stay. I believe that's the case anyway. Oh, you're up there. I thought I was rendering her weirdly inside of the wall somehow, but no. She's just up around the corner. 
Where's all the people? Not loading? Failing to load? Performance of this game on PS4 is not fantastic. Alright, now let's go back real quick and see if that other one is still laying there unconscious. See, now somebody's here. Seth will, Seth will be back alive, though. So, if there's not anybody here, we're going to have to deal with him. The old fat... Oh, she's still here. Okay. Well, that might be a strategy, then. Lure them out to the door. Then that way you won't have to keep fighting Seth every time. That might be a strategy. Lure a whole crowd out to the door. Then you don't have to keep fighting Seth. Because Seth does respawn every single time. And you can't knock him out, so you have to do your annoying weapon shuffle. So that might be... Also, with the update, the, the way bodies spawn and despawn might have changed. Seth is always there. But the bodies, or the unconscious people, might last longer, maybe. So that's four in there. Who are you? Level one? Well, we don't want that, do we? She's topless. I was about to say she looked different than they usually look. Technically true. I thought she was wearing a different shirt, not none at all. Just get a bit of a drink of water before we go into the door. Yes, I'm very happy about the new dyes. That's going to open up some options for me to change some things or dye things differently when I make new things. I've already made this suit. This suit's already a very colorful suit. Very vibrant suit. This was a naturally vibrant suit to begin with. The, what's it called? Kari Raider suit. I did a bit more dyeing to make it a bit more vibrant, but it was already pretty darn colorful to begin with. This guy is back alive again. So let me try. Let me try out my strategy about just leaving a pile by the door so I don't have to keep dealing with Seth. some star metal ore, that's unusual. Alright, now let's... Alright, let's change your weapon. And then see how many people we can lure up here. Oh, these are both men. Really want men, but I suppose I'll accept it for now, just for the sake of this experiment. Die. 
back over here. Don't get too close to where Seth is going to respawn. Where did, did you knock him out? Oh yeah, that's two. Okay. Now let's go see if we can lure some more people up here. Make sure there aren't any of those Kari steel chests right there. But there's not. You gotta go further into the level to get them. My set, did you see that? It's gonna be all men this time. Is this the only guy following me? Come on. Come to your doom. Follow the bait. Follow the bait. Eh, there he is. person was going to come. That creates a problem. If I can get her off separate and kill her. First and then combo. Oh, oh fuck. Excuse my language. But. Delencia, did you. Could you help? Please? Attack that guy. No, don't. Yeah, I just definitely did a running attack. I can't see. Still wants you to seriously stuck in a corner. Oh, for Pete's sake. She shouldn't have any trouble beating that guy, as long as she's not trying to fight this boss, we should be okay. Yeah, she's fine. I'm not doing so great, but she's doing just fine. Oops, wrong button. She's dead. Great. She had a heart of the champion, which is wonderful. Or heart of the Nord, or whatever it is that she has. Alright, so now we've got three people. We've got four people. I'm getting hungry. How's your health? Um, it's not 
great, but it's kind of okay. Should get better a bit faster after eating that. I'm hungry. Go ahead and eat the good pork meal, because I need to heal as well. Let's get let's get one more squad of people up here. I was not expecting the boss, because she's from around there. She's not from right at the end of this path, she's from down around the corner there. I wasn't expecting her to come up. I see those people are still there. How strange. Maybe they're just less determined to chase me all the way up. And the other group chased me all the way. Well, let's go ahead and add them to the pile of bodies and just... We'll see if there's a limit to how many will stay here while we're rounding them up. Excuse me, I'm sorry, I think I think that was unnecessary. I'm stuck inside my fall right now. And I can't climb out. Just move, please. Thank you. Alright, it was like all men though, I think, unfortunately. Just a total sausage fest. Alright, we've got six unconscious people now in this little area. Let's go see if we can do any good looting. If there's still going to be people in the way. Oh, you can't just drag some. I just realized you can drag somebody and then drop them again. But maybe we'll just go ahead and switch to lethal for this part. You could drag the people all up close to the door. Don't see a Kari steel chest this time. Boy, there's a lot of stuff in there. I know I've already read all the books in here before, but just in case anything new got added in the patch. Looks like I got really unlucky on not finding any Kari steel so far this time. This guy's still going to be here, right? Sliver off him. Yeah, still not finding. Still not finding the Kari steel. And yeah, you better not fall off that cliff and die. I'm gonna be real upset if I lose you again. So one of these people is still here. It's not gonna be another boss though, right? That wouldn't be the case. Man, nah, we're not doing crowd control, so it doesn't make sense to use the big sword. <laughs> Oh fuck. Where'd you come from?
No, nope, that doesn't shield smash. Whoops. Just hit him before they get up to the regular hit. Alright, there's, there's nothing up here. I'm not getting any luck with the looting at all. These are chests. Probably got gold and silver. Yep. Wait. Okay, hopefully you're still okay down here. Excuse me, I'm stuck. Okay. So the game doesn't murder me with glitches, I'll just do that. This body was already dead. Did you knock anybody out? Nope, there's just the people that were already dead. Collect some slivers. Already got their inventory. Um, did I sliver this person up here? Where'd he go? Oh, that. Oh, is that you knocking out this person? Okay, let's go find the body. Oh, she's not dead. You did not knock her out. She's still here. Okay, let's capture her. her. Excuse me. Can't fit two people past each other on the bridge. So let's, yeah, let's rope you, get you. Just go ahead and take you. Go ahead and take you first, and then we'll come back and see how many of the other unconscious people are still laying there when we get back. Nope. I thought there was still going to be somebody in here. That's another lady that's following us now, not the guy that yelled a second ago, obviously. This rope is really going crazy, even though I haven't done a level transition. Where did the person go? Right there. Well, see if I unbind this person, then... I might lose them. So let's just get you to knock her out so she'll be there when we come back. Okay, so I can attack. I can attack while still holding rope. see how many of these people are still going to be here so we can try to get them all over to the wheel of pain. That doesn't sound very nice, but it takes some convincing to get people to join your team after you've captured them. Return to the surface. I already have, game. Already have. I'm about as surfaced as you can be.
here we go. We've got three more slots. There's more than three people in there, so we'll end up having to use another of the wheels. It's more efficient to try to shove as much as you can into as few wheels. Because any wheel that's running uses, I think, they use the same amount of food no matter how many people are in them. So you want to empty out a wheel so it's not using up food. Although it's not hard to make gruel. Gruel is very cheap and easy to make. So it's not really a big deal. But, if you're just trying to be efficient. If you can fit them all in a smaller number of wheels, do it. Alright, now let's see how many people are still in here. At least four. You're the one we just knocked out. I prefer to get as many women as possible in this game. Don't want to have just a whole big dude fest, plus I'm a lady. Got my lady follower with me. Sort of like Amazons. I don't know if Amazons exist in this game universe, but... An army led by women, anyway, is what we're going to be. Yeah, not everybody's spawning in very fast. It seems like the performances may be better. I think they might have cut down on texture and enemy loading speed in order to get the performance better in the patch, maybe. Because I noticed uh, texture loading as I was looking at it previously. Which I don't think it used to be that slow on texture loads. But the frame rate seems to be better, I think. Looks like they're all still in here. Do any of them look any cooler than the others? Anybody got a cool haircut? Seth has respawned. Guy's got long hair. Let's take this guy for now. Oh yeah, you wanna... You wanna prioritize fighters too, because like I said, they have the same stats, but they have higher hit points. As far as the Relic Hunter treasure seekers go, that is. But yeah, if this is, I'm pretty sure this is the best. Best source of reliable, high quality archers in, in the game. Excuse me, I'm having hiccups. Oh. Fudge. Well, I just accidentally climbed the thing, so now I've lost that guy. Who knows where his body actually is? He's gone now. That makes me sad. Let's try not to do that this time. This guy had some hair. Let's get him. What is he? Yeah, he's a fighter too. They're all fighters. Okay. Now let's not climb the building because that makes you let go of the rope. And when you're doing this this way, you can't find the body afterwards. The body is off in some sort of limbo that you can't see, can't find, can't get to. You might be able to get to it if you know where it is, but I don't I don't have the first clue where the bodies actually go when you come through that door. Wait. Well, this one... Okay, it appeared right there. That's interesting. The one I'm dragging is gone, but then that guy reappeared there. That guy reappeared there, the one I'm dragging is... Hmm. It did not used to do that in earlier versions of the game. Definitely did not used to do that. I wonder if it's counting that as their spawn point when you re-enter through the door. 
And so they're sort of re resetting to the spawn point when the rope breaks, maybe. Instead of being out in limbo. So that's good. Now we've got now we've got the guy that I thought we lost. Fantastic. I think this is the last one that'll fill up that one wheel. Yep, this wheel's full. And nobody nobody's really close to being done yet. One more unconscious guy in the cellar. This is much more efficient than going in and having to fight Seth each time. I wish I would have thought of this long, long ago. I wonder if it'll let you build... I wonder if it'll let you build a slave wheel, like, right out front of the bar. Probably not. It does not let you build anything at all inside this dungeon. I do know that. I've tried that before to get across the broken bridge. So let me just make sure there's not anybody else I don't see in the corners or anything. Nope. Last guy. So that's going to be one wheel full, and another wheel is going to have at least a few people in it. Once these loads are done, I guess it'll be time to start distributing them around. So these are all guards for our settlements. Because eventually our settlements are going to start getting attacked again by the purge. Oh, there was in fact nobody else in this one. Shoot, I can't take him out without destroying him. Now let's go ahead and start training him. Okay, is that that scorpion again? That scorpion just loves to come into my base. It's a small one this time. Been a big one the last couple of times. Is there anybody in this wheel? They're all done. Okay, they're all done. So let's take the gruel out of there. Reese of the Brutal. Oh yeah, that's that guy with that hood. Got different slave masters at all my slave wheels. Yeah, this this chest is already mostly full, and I think I can't remember if my bearer has four or five rows of inventory. It's at least four, so she can carry a full chest. What is this heart, by the way? Part of a hero, yeah. Okay. Wait, it expires. What do you mean? Expires? Since when do they expire? I thought those those lasted forever. Those used to last forever. I have to go stick a heart in the fridge. Are all my th are all my other hearts going bad in the chest? Those did not used to have an expiration date on them. I'm sure of it. I don't know, what do you even do with the heart of a hero? Well, knowing that, oh gosh, knowing that I'm going to have to build another fridge probably to put hearts in. So there's only one person there, but 
Yeah. I'm sure the hearts did not expire previously. So what we need to do now is go back to our main base and check on that. And possibly throw them in the fridge. What did I want bugs for? I forget what I wanted bugs for. Sub goal? Yes, yeah, sub goal. Okay. I forget what I wanted bugs for. Oh yeah, the bait, bait the fish tree. Yeah, I'm not gonna mess with that yet. Forget about that for now. Um, don't want to bait the fish traps right now. Um, right, her sword. That's what I was looking for. Because we're going back home. Oh, she got a new stat. Unflinching. She became unflinching. What does that mean? Shrug off damage. Okay. Looks like it's actually agility, so it probably gives her better uh, armor class. Less likely to be hit. Okay, we gotta figure out which button. I think it's the third button on this, assuming they don't light up. Oh, it light up. Yeah, that's the one I want. Yeah, I'm worried about that heart thing now. I'm worried all my hearts expired in the chest. I'm not sure I had a lot. Because I know I traded some in to get stuff with that one weird gorilla shrine thing. But I'm sure I had some. Okay, where's my scythe? No, that's right. We're not bothering to get bugs. Forget bugs, no bugs. Attack all enemies. No bugs, just get home. It's gonna be a panther around this corner. Is my follower, like, getting herself killed somewhere? Shoot. Oh, do I still have God Puff on? Whoops. I didn't have it on on purpose. I thought I had would have gotten rid of it by now. Okay, well, I'm not going to do it when I'm completely surrounded and can't move. Inside of the enemy. What do you even get from these guys? Is 
fangs and exotic flesh. Fangs, bone, exotic flesh. Alright. That's fine. Yeah, I might have to make another refrigerator for hearts. And things. I mean, my refrigerator is stuffed full anyway, so I could could use another one, maybe. Anyway. Is it only those hearts that expire, or do all hearts expire? Because there's heart of a champion, I think, and heart of a Nord. we're good. Okay, the frame rate is hurting right now. Lighting hearts. I'm pretty sure the hearts were up here in my one of my chests for like weird and unique items. Okay, that's all heads. That's all that stuff. There's a heart. Yeah, heart of a Nordheimer that does not have an expiration on it. And that's the only thing in here. Did all my other hearts expire? Or did I just not have any? It still has an expiration date if you put it in there. Well, I might as well go ahead and eat it. Since it's going to expire, right? Let me look it up. Let me look up what a heart of a hero does. Heart of a hero. Removes all corruption. Health regen removes all corruption. It turns into putrid meat. Yeah, this is one of the things you can trade in in Hanuman's Grotto for gorilla pets. I might not have, I might not have had too many in storage anyway, but still, I'm all, almost entirely certain they did not use to expire. Also, there's weird recipes that use it. Devil's Bone Meal and Bindings of the Dead. But probably won't ever bother with that because that uses really unique stuff that I don't, I don't have the eyes of innocence, I don't think. What does the Devil's Bone Meal even do? Who knows? It just helps your hunger very slightly and gives you some slight regeneration. Alright, the devil's though, that's not really useful. So it looks like the only thing Heart of a Hero is particularly useful. Bindings of the Dead are good, but 
takes three fragments of power, so I probably wouldn't make those. Chain bindings are perfectly good enough for what I would need. See, a heart of a hero is not that useful, but I'm just wondering, do any of the other hearts expire now? Heart of the Kin Scourge looks like it doesn't expire. Did Heart of the Hero always expire? It's just that's the only one that does. Yeah, none of the other ones list an expiration time. Maybe I just never noticed that. That's the one heart. The one heart that doesn't last. Withered heart? There's so many hearts in this game. Oh, the withered heart expires. Where do you get that from? Oh, that's the guy that's actually in the grotto, so you can use it right away anyway. expires. Okay. But it's not a very good thing you can get when you trade that in. Okay, so it's just... Just, just some expire and some don't expire. Well, in the next video, I don't know what we'll be doing. Maybe we'll be... Well, I don't know what we'll be doing in the next video. I might need to Start working on some more armor for... I've got a lot of unarmored people at this base. A lot of people wearing those regular cloth outfits. So anyway, in the next video we'll be doing something. So I've got that heavy armor on those guys, and then I got this assassin's armor on some of my archers. Well anyway, in the next video we'll do something.